Okay, uh, right now we are going to take a video of emergency maneuvering control system, how emergency maneuvering control in case of automatic control system fails. So we have an emergency maneuvering control station, so we have, we have, we have there are certain regulations from which we, we should have a contact with the bridge sufficient arrangement. So here we have two, one is a radio, mobile, radio telephone and the other one is a normal telephone is provided with a headset, so noise uh, will be too much, so it is easy to listen. Similarly, we have a telegraph here. You see here a dead stop. Uh, ahead is given. This will be turned according to once a brief queue order. So we have to uh, match with the whatever the order is given. Let's uh, start with the sequential operation. How the sequential operation is done here? Here thing is first step by step operation. Here all you just see a uh, first whatever the things are given. See video. Then we will explain one by one. This is a locking device. First, we have to unlock this. First step is we have to unlock this gear. Second step, in second step we have to here. Here we have a remote control. This is a remote. We have to decide whether Aston or ahead. This has to take out this pin and uh, keep it on Aston or ahead. So choose according to which command is given on Telegram. Let's say it is on Aston. Let's go uh, Aston. Then we we'll have to be in that this position. While if an ahead, let's go ahead. Let's say let's go ahead this, this direction. Then we must take out. and wheel. So once you turn this fuel rack can be controlled. This is a lock by means of a locking device. Yes, this is a locking device. Locking device. This lock, once we tie this, there will be no movement. This solenoid wall is provided at the bottom. This ensures if there is any problem in telegraph or governor system, this will issue an alarm so that person can know whether the local control is matlab wo dhila ho gaya hai that is a soft turn so we have to tight this we have to tight this handle very strongly the procedures are mentioned here let's see locking device in a position second one turn the handle to emergency position third one select check that one from the or as position say call from Emergency. Now, okay. And once you are done with, once we turn the handle lever, turn the handle lever, and this, this will command to start. And press this button, start or stop. Once you press the start, this will start. Once you press the start button, engine will start running. Engine will start running, and once engine start running, you just bring back this lever. So start during the starting. When it start, it will give a maximum kick, and so we have to bring a fuel rack lever, minimum fuel rack lever to minimum position by turning this. And so this is the control. And before starting, we have to take on this on service. Emergency. Take on service. Push this button. Initially push this button. So take on service for an emergency operation, right? And this is the operation and all. So we have all alarm here, like. There is any failure? Whether we have an ECR control, which control ahead, last one, turning a linkage, control control, wrong way, operator is all connected, slow down, press, shut down, shut down, shut down, cancel, and shut down, cancel. And RPM meter is shown here. So. What is the major thing is that once we have synchron synchronized, once the bridge queue order of dead slow, then this must be turned at the position of dead slow. So this 
this indicate the telegraph lever that is uh, the connection between telegraph lever engine and uh, emergency control console ensures that is a correct and whatever the order given as turn or ahead that will be ensure is a correct second one is a medium of communication there are two telephony uh, medium are provided one is on radio and other one is a normal telephone connection are provided as well. and second we have a microphone so in order to avoid any external noises and uh, problems so this is the Electronic uh, it, is, yeah, it gets a signal from the engine uh, electronic governance system and controls the actuator. This move up and down and then this actuator rod this actuator rod goes to your rack. So in order to it, it controls the rack position during operation. That's all. Thank you.